Welcome back to Lasco Ford. This is Paul Zagman working with you on the 2020 Ford Escape. We have been waiting for the 2020 Ford Escape, but what we brought today to show you is gonna be the 2020 Ford Escape in the titanium package. There has been a ton of changes, as you can see from the 2019 model year Escape. We're gonna talk about those right now with you and go inside and outside the vehicle, talk about the different aspects of what's changed and why, and then we're gonna show you some fun things that we found out about the vehicle that are definitely noticeably different from the previous model year Ford Escape. Let's get started and go right into this thing, starting with where you're gonna look at these huge, I mean huge headlights. Now these are gonna be the LED headlight, and you're gonna have an LED running light that's down below. And you take a look at the contour of even where the fog light is, you're gonna notice that that's not gonna be your halogen bulb either down here. So they've amplified all of your headlight and your visibility for nighttime driving. Beautiful thing about the vehicle too is, they changed out the grill and it's, it looks like the piano black that Ford's been using on a multitude of their grills. Well, this is actually Lexan. So I've looked at uh, doing a little bit of research on this. So the whole thing is gonna be gloss black all the way through. So rock chips, no longer an issue to have a little pit that's shown a different color. It will actually be the same color. This one, you're gonna notice a forward sensing system. You're gonna see these sensors that are gonna be up in the front, along with a adaptive cruise control with a uh, loading your brakes for, you know, when you put your, your cruise control on, your adaptive cruise, and somebody taps the brakes on you, that's gonna help you with that scenario. Now let's talk about a couple different engines that are gonna be offered. Well, you're gonna have a, a four different platforms. One of them's gonna be coming in spring of 2020, but you're gonna start out with going the uh, 1.5 liter EcoBoost, three cylinder turbocharged engine. Then you're gonna go up to the 2.0 liter EcoBoost, turbocharged engine again, that's the four cylinder then. Uh, you then will have the hybrid version that's gonna have a 2.5 liter uh, engine going along with the hybrid system. And then you will have in uh, spring release 2020, the PHEV or the plug-in hybrid electric version, which is using a different technology that they, than what they've used in the past, giving you the ability to go uh, full EV mode, uh, full fuel mode with a charging option. It can plug into the 110 outlet in your, in, at your home, or you can do the upgraded phase two option with a, uh, with a 220 or 240, right? So let's take a look at walking around the vehicle. What else do we see that we notice differently? If you take a look at the Explorer, it's followed what the Explorer has done and put this, uh, this wheel well molding on the vehicle too. That's gonna prevent a lot of the rock chips and keep a lot of the dirt debris off the paint too. I think that's a beautiful design, especially for being here at Lasco Ford in Fenton, Michigan. Yeah, we're gonna have some snow, there's no doubt about that. Also, you're gonna be wrapped in a uh, Bridgestone tire here with a massive wheel. So the wheel is a, a huge complement to the vehicle. And on this one specifically, we're gonna be taking a look at what size do we have here? Yeah, that's a 19 inch. Their inlay is gonna be painted in that magnetic metallic color along with a aluminum finish on the outside of it. Turn signal is built into the mirrors on the side with a painted skull cap. And then this mirror is gonna have your blind spot awareness. Let's talk about a little bit of the technology here. I got my handy dandy sheet from, from Ford to go, what exactly are we doing here? So you have uh, post-collision braking after an accident. If there is a collision, the vehicle is gonna brake itself. Whether you're conscious or not, it's gonna put itself to a stopped position. You have the pre-collision assist with, with automatic emergency braking and pedestrian detection. That's where you're gonna see the sensors in the front all working together to help you end pedestrian uh, avoidance. So you you know, and that can work for not just a pedestrian, but Ford was also talking about even deer or animals that are on the side of the road running across. So that's gonna help you there. You know, we've got the key in the vehicle, but if you look right here at these ridges on the top part of this door handle, this is gonna indicate that we've got the ability to just simply put your, your hand on the back of this doorknob or a door handle, right? and it's gonna lock and unlock the vehicle simply. There's no button on the outside that you have to worry about anymore. Take a look at the top part of the vehicle here. You're gonna have this roof rail system that's gonna be coming across. So if you're the skiing, kayaking, uh, going out and doing uh, you know, bicycling, whatever, now you have the ability to have that. I think it's a very, very good look to have the black roof contrasting on this white platinum color that we have available here for the 2020 Ford Escape. Now let's talk about size difference. It is a bit wider, it is a bit longer. But they do that and they brought the roof line down just a bit too, giving it that bold athletic look that this vehicle has been awesome as far as Ford sales go. It's their number two selling vehicle to the F-150. Why wouldn't they pay attention to the vehicle like this? Other things that we've noticed too, 
is the quality, the fit, and the finish. They nailed it. So we're gonna show you that in just a second when I start slamming and opening doors. It's gonna be fun. But LED lights to wrap the back quarter panel into the uh, rear lift gate here. They changed out their font and, and put escape in the back to kind of mirror putting the Explorer on the back and, and the Explorer on the front hood uh, for hood badging. They're gonna tie that branding into this vehicle too. So you can see EcoBoost all wheel drive. Now with a terrain control system so you can adjust what you're gonna be driving the vehicle and what mode you're gonna be in, which was more in the Explorer lineup with Ford. Now they're gonna bring that to the Escape. It has taken it to that next level. You see the side curtains right here that keeps bringing that drag coefficient down a bit. Like they started with this when they, when they introduced that, uh, that, that EcoBoost into the Edge version. Now they're carrying that through to this model lineup as well. But listen to this, and this is a fun fact that I, that I looked at. And don't quote me because the internet's not always right, but this has a less drag coefficient than the Ford GT. I'm not even kidding, it's 0.35 on the Ford GT. It's 0.329, I believe. Double check me on that, but it is that well done. Okay, take a look underneath here. We're gonna have a massive spare, but if you look at this too, I always, I like this. It's nice and hard. The thing about that is, if you ever have cargo back here and it's heavy, well, I'll give you an example. I had a Honda Civic that I went and threw something in the back of, next thing you know, that thing was cracked in half because it was basically oversized cardboard, right? Not gonna happen here. This is gonna be, you know, the weather, the, the formats that are with it, and I wanna pay a little bit more attention to what happens in the second row. So this is first for the 2020 Ford Escape State, right where you're at, so you can see this, Jay, check this out. So, you have the ability now to slide, okay, your seating, which is now giving you the most leg room in its class with 30, over 37 cubic feet of cargo area when these are pulled forward, right? So this adjusts too, it's not just the one side. Boom, there you go, nice and easy, a nice armrest, two cup holders, and on top of that, here, I'll sit in it so you can see the size of it. <sighs> I'm not a giant, we always talk about my height. Five foot eight with my shoes on, maybe, right? But the contour on this seat, it's extreme. You know, it, it, like you see a little contour and people talk about it. Look at that. I mean, that's like, that's a lot. That's a lot. I don't know, I would say about the size of a baseball, how much it goes in there too, right? Kneecaps, nice and comfy. Upstairs, boom, look at the size of that panoramic roof. It stretches almost the whole roof line of the car. The design on the door panels is different too. So if you're looking at these diamond imprints that are going on the side of the vehicle, this is what I want you to hear. Are you ready for this? I'm gonna get close to it. Listen to this door. Are you serious? I sat in it and he shut the door and I swear my eardrum was gonna pop. It was that tight. So you might wanna open a window before you slam your door on a Ford Escape, I'm telling you, all right? Capless fuel system, easy fuel system. Capless fuel system, beautiful, right? Because now you don't have gas caps and other people are starting to follow suit. Ford did that a long time ago. You're talking, I think, 2008 in the escapes, right? When they had the squared off body style from 2008 to 2012. Automatic liftgate on the titanium here too, just simply push a button. Or if you have your keys, Ford is still doing where you just wave your foot underneath where the hitch is gonna be, right? So if you just go right to the center of the emblem for the Ford emblem, simply just wave your foot, it'll open and close. The keys are in the vehicle, so it's not gonna do it right now for me. But you just have to have your key within proximity. Proximity is about arm lengths away. So that's how you can look at that. That contour still follows all the way around the back side here. And when we talk about the drag coefficient and, and how aerodynamic the vehicle is, we thought about it all. So how many hours do you think they spent on a wind tunnel with this thing? I'm sure quite a bit. Receiver on the back, it's gonna be a class two with towing capability up to 3,500 pounds, right? So that's what you're seeing in other manufacturers but more often than not, you're gonna need to be in a V6, not with the Ford Escape. That's beautiful, all right? So now you can have your jet skis, your boat, your snowmobiles, whatever, and you don't have to have a truck for hauling and an SUV for driving. This is gonna do it all for you. Chrome belt line all the way around your windows. They are doing a great job with keeping the B, the, the B pillar here and the C pillar all in that black to give it that limousine look or that panoramic look. Ford has not stopped with this either. That's the keyless entry keypad right here. So you go right up to it and just type in your five digit code, which you can custom fit, right, to any code you want to do. The beautiful thing about that is, I leave my keys in my vehicle literally all the time. They just sit in my, in my cup holder, and I just come out, and you can lock it or unlock it. 
So guess what? You're not going to forget your keys. It's nice and easy to do, right? So taking a look uh, at the interior of the vehicle, that's going to be our next step here. Um, I definitely want to show you the inside because this is it's impressive. I mean, it's just, it really is. Look at this. I don't know if you can get in here. Pop on in here with me. This entire digital display is like, wow, right? All the buttons here that, that we have, including a heads-up display, which is, I'm going to turn this joker on here real quick. But if you take a look at your heads-up display, I like that. There's another brand that we have that has a heads-up display, and it shows your miles, per, your miles per hour, your digital display, whether your cruise is on. You can adjust the height of it. So if there's one driver driving and it's too low, you can adjust the letters up or the numbers and letters up and down. Um, other things that you're going to have. We have a uh, uh, leather wrapped steering wheel here. We've got heated seats. We've got a heated steering wheel. You now have a digital display on your climate control. That's just sweet. And it's just, man, they, they did a nice job finishing out even these dials of going, Hey, it's stainless steel. You're converting over to a rotary dial as well. So if you uh, go in reverse and you open your door and shut it, I don't know if you remember our video on the Fusion, but it'll literally shift itself into park for you if you're exiting the vehicle. It's like it's, they've thought of a lot of things in here. How cool does this look? I thought Jay left his iPad in here, but it's not. Check that bad boy out. This is sweet. So it shows your navigation. It shows you all your different controls. So you go nav, audio, phone, your apps, uh, different settings that you can choose as well. And then you can plug it in and your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are going to work too. But you've got multiple USBs from a mini USB here to another USB that's going to be inside of the center console here. So I can just plug right in. And then I can take my phone and plug it in and it'll just hit me up for an Apple CarPlay. As soon as it is, you're just gonna hit continue. I agree, skip this step. That's 911 alert, by the way. I'm skipping that step for me because it's not my car. But if you go into it and take a look, here's my Pandora, my phone calls, my maps, if I wanna use the iMaps instead of using the navigation that they're providing, right? This is to get to where I need to go. Oh, I guess I'm going to Speedway, apparently 35 minutes away. <laughs> I never set that as a destination, but that's cool. Um, then you can go right back here. If you want to go back to the Ford system, just simply hit Ford Sync. Then you're back over into that Ford system. What settings are we going to be able to have? Your driver's assist setting, what radio you have, adjusting the sound, your clock, Bluetooth, phone, and then swipe, right? So now you've got the automatic updates. What does that mean? It means that anytime this vehicle is in Wi-Fi, boom, you are getting any kind of update that Ford can do digitally for you on this vehicle, valet mode. Put a code in there. You can lock that out for your... Uh, for nobody to, 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 to not be able to access anything you have in that screen and of your personal information, but also shut down quite a few things so they're not playing around. When we say adjust sound, you see that little symbol right there? And then in the door panel, that's a Bang and Olufsen sound system. Are you serious? Yeah, it's like Bose's big brother that's better looking and stronger, like mine. His name's John. Anyway, uh, this is paddle shifts up here too. You have steering wheel controls, a ton of them. Cruise control, volume, your steer, your uh, lane keeping system, your forward mitigation and uh, your, your uh, cruise control, adaptive cruise, heads up display, your back button, your okay button, your menu button, your voice button, your phone button, your hang up phone button. Wow, that's a lot. Then you paddle shift. Then you have your interval, interval wipers and adjustments for the rear one. Also, this vehicle has um, automatic windshield wipers which is nice. And then you come over here, you got auto, he auto headlights as well. Let's take a look at this massive roof. I'm just curious, how big is that thing? Oh, yep. Still I think massive is a good one. Still going. How about more? Oh yeah, <clears throat> yep, I want more. Yep, there it is. Okay, now how much does it open? Yeah, we wanna see that. Oh, nice little, nice little wind net, right? Does it go more? There we go. If that isn't humongous, I mean, that looks like, what is it, the, is, it, is it the Cowboy Stadium that has the whole roof come off? Unreal. Now, look at this before we leave the vehicle. You've got not only the, the, the three different settings for driver one, two, and three, but check this out, ready, where it says pull twice. You just go one and two. So now you no longer have the, let me fish around for the, the hood, um, you know, the, the hood latch to be able to pop the hood, 
right? You just simply go like this. You just lift it up. There is no fish around. Find the yellow thing that Ford's known for putting like some yellow thing, right? The only yellow thing is your hood prop where you're going to put that back. Two liter EcoBoost engine putting out 250 horsepower and 275 pound foot of torque. Easily accessible on your different containers and reservoirs that you have, right? So going here and then seeing over there where our coolant is, overflow, and our windshield washer fluid with a blue cap boy over there, our oil and dipstick right in the center here on top of where your engine cover is, and your intake system that wraps all the way up here to the front and engulfs all of the air inside. I love the headlights. I like this car. It's super, it feels like it's super wide. Wait till you see one of these. Like, I mean, literally it's, I mean, I'm, I'm five foot eight. That's a wide vehicle. And they did say, yes, we've made it wider. Made it a little bit longer. On the 2020 Ford Escape, I would suggest you take a look at what they've changed because this is phenomenal. One of our, one of our guys said, hey, we've got a pre-owned Porsche over there. Doesn't that look like the pre-owned Porsche? I, I go, you know what it does? And that was a 2018 model year, but it kind of follows some of those design hues. This is pretty amazing. You should probably check out the 2020 Ford Escape in either an SEL, a titanium, an SE, or one of the hybrid or plug-in hybrid electric versions. It's pretty impressive. Let's take it for a drive uh, next time around and see what we can think. If you've got any questions, any comments, feel free to leave, leave them down below. We'll get you any kind of information that we can provide. These are still brand new. If you, uh, if you haven't liked and subscribed, please do share it with your friends. We appreciate it. Thanks for looking at Lasco Ford here in Fenton, Michigan. Give us a call. Thanks.